This is Static Addict Season 2, Episode 3, and I am in a tiny basement with me and Sweetie. What's up, fellas? What's up? How's it going? Not much, man. Oh, man, it's going great. Had a, we recorded a great session, and uh, I think before we get to know you, we're just going to go straight into the first half of that session right now. Hell yeah. Even how you 
Once again, I am here with me and Sweetie. How y'all doing tonight? Good man. All right. I'm pretty exhausted, but it's pretty fun. Yeah, y'all played uh, y'all played the hell out of that set. Man. Oh yeah. <laughs> um, why don't you go ahead and introduce yourselves uh, to our to our wonderful audience? Sweet. I'm Finch. I play uh, guitar and I also sing a little bit. I'm Chapman. I play drums. I'm Harper and I'm the bass player. Cool. Um, who? So how do you, how do you typically write your songs? Who, who? What's the process like for you? Usually, so, oh, you, no, go? you go ahead, man. Go okay. Ahead. Usually, Finch will write a riff and lyrics, um, like at his house or something, and he'll bring it into us next, like when we practice, um, and we'll just kind of play through it and work it out. And he'll just play the riff, and Harper and I'll work out what we want to play with the song and if we like it and everything. And yeah, kind of goes from there. Usually, it's a, uh, it's kind of a a process for me of I I, I, I like record it on my phone. And then I take it into uh, the band, and we kind of just work on it through there. But I, I work on it, kind of, kind of all throughout, all throughout the process of just writing yeah. lyrics and adding parts to it over time. So. Yeah. Well, it seems like you've got kind of a, a very, um, you got a tight connection. Yeah, as, for sure. As a band and as friends, um, and it, it comes through in the way you play and the way you write together. How long have you been playing together? Uh, me and Chapman have been playing together since we were probably like maybe 12, 13, something like that, just yeah. started playing shitty Green Day covers. So like last week, basically. Yeah, yeah basically, basically last week. We started <laughs> yesterday. Guys, by the way, these guys are young. These guys are like 16, so. We're um, youngins. youngins. Straight, out, straight out of the womb. I think you might be the youngest people I've ever, you're, well, you're definitely the youngest people I've ever had on Static Attic, so. Oh, hey, it's an yeah. honor. How did how did it all come together? I mean, obviously, you, the two of you were playing together, learning how to play your instruments together. Yeah. What about Harper? Uh, so I'm actually more recent. Um Probably only a couple months now, maybe half a year or so. Yeah, is that maybe. what you guys yeah. said? Yeah. Probably. Um, we went. We go to the same school, so we know each other that way. Kind of just seeing each other around school, and definitely through like band class. Yeah, for we sure. Just play. Me and Harper play bass together in band class. Band nerds unite. Oh yeah, Hell yeah. band <laughs> nerds. And Chapman's back there. The percussion section is near the bass player, so we just always kind of fuck around, and we've just become friends through. Fucking off in band class and having fun, man. Yeah. <laughs> That's the way it works, man. Oh, yeah. That's the way it works. Um, so how long have you been each playing your respective instruments? I have been playing for, I want to say, 11 years now. Maybe 10. Okay. Uh, yeah, I started really young. My dad wanted me to play. so. But That's then cool. it turned into, I loved it. I ended up loving it. So I'm very glad that he made me. <laughs> yeah, you're a hell of a drummer. Thank you. I, I try. I started... Um, taking classical after I, I saw Chapman playing the drums and I was like, man, I want to do something cool like that. So I started taking classical for about maybe a year and it was just not for me. Classical it's not guitar. Or? Yeah. Classical guitar. Okay. Yeah. And it's not, not the songs I wanted to learn. So I switched to a different guy and immediately started learning like Sabbath, Nirvana, stuff like that. Yeah. And just, just loving it. Like you do. Like oh, you yeah. do. Yeah. Uh, for me, I think this is my fifth year on bass now. Okay. Um, um, pretty much self-taught, aside from like a half a year of guitar lessons back when I was like seven for okay. acoustic guitar. But um, yeah, I've m mostly taught myself. My band teacher did hand me a bass and tell me what a D was, and that was as much as he did. Yeah. So I've had to learn everything <laughs> else myself. Shout out Mr. Barnes. Shout out to Mr. Barnes. <laughs> Yo, shouts out Barnes. Speaking of Barnes, uh, Melon Barn, you guys uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> so you oh, played yeah. your first show at the Melon Barn. I think that's how I got connected with you was... Uh, through the Melon Barn band. That was actually the yeah. first show that I played with them. Yeah, nice. that, that's the first show that Harper joined us joined cool. us for, and it was the first, like, we played at Freight Yard, stuff like that before, and right. it's the first time that we ever felt like we were playing to our crowd, like people that actually enjoyed our music yeah. and, and, like, gave some energy back to us other than just us playing to, you know, just random people. It, it, it's it's a good It's a good time up there. It's also, like, it's really nice to be able to connect with the people that you're going to play for. Yeah. And, like, at Freight Yard, like, it's a great place, and it's a great family-friendly place. Um, but, you know, like... But it's just a restaurant. I mean, yeah. it's, like, it's a great outdoor space, but it's a restaurant. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, but, like, I mean, Melon Barn, you go, and, like, everybody talks to you and wants to get to know you and, like, yeah. you know, wants to get to know how you started playing music and what type of music you listen to. And I think it's a really fun and cool scene to be in. Definitely. I agree. Some of the coolest people that I've met have been in this scene, and I'm yeah. really just happy to be part of it. Yeah, yeah that's pretty cool. I, I think that Melon Barn specifically, because of the people who started it and the people that just 
hang around there, it, it draws in good people. No matter, no There's matter. There's a lot of enthusiasm. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a it's very passionate place. Ecstatic. Just, the yeah. energy there is just something you can't find anywhere it, else. Yeah, I've. It's. I think uh, the only only thing that comes to mind is you know comparable is Pablo, and Pablo has been gone. Oh, yeah. for years now. A couple mm-hmm. years now. Yeah, it's so. it's a great place. There's not there's nothing like it. I mean, it kind of changed the way that we thought about playing gigs and interacting with musicians. Sure. Yeah, it showed me a side of performing that I didn't even really think existed. Yeah, just just like on being that. on Tell stage. Me, what, what do you so mean? like I'm a jazz jazz, jazz bassist. That's where I come from, and I'm mostly just used to playing like big crowds and like like there's not a lot of interaction between the people sure. in the crowd. But in the Melon Barn. It's not a very big place. You're, you're right up there. So you're standing on this tiny stage with people moshing all over your stage, like climbing on the rafters and stuff. Oh yeah. And it's just it's, it's such, wild in there. It's like an intimate experience. It, it that's exactly what I was gonna say. Is there's something intimate about all these people in this tiny barn, all mm. moving around in one? It, it's a very intimate experience. I think that's that's the the biggest draw of like DIY shows and 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 house shows in general. Definitely. Um, it's just that it is very like close up it's very intimate it's almost um, holy yeah, yeah, there, <laughs> yeah actually you know there there is something like Religious. there's something about that there is something yeah. very spiritual about it definitely um where it's 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 this connection yeah, you know it's, it's you are like, you are looking somebody right in the eye they are right in your face you can smell them <laughs> yeah. um, the, the melon barn is our punk rock church <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah it, it really is, is. <laughs> kind of change direction a little bit um the name Mean Sweetie. What's where'd that come from? Oh, what's, uh, let's talk about that, that was before my we, time. We I don't that, know about that one. Get that question a lot, actually. It, it yeah. used to be it used to be the Hounds. Me and Chapman played probably a good two years, just me and him, and just me on guitar, him on drums yeah. as a duo. So we used to be the Hounds, and then we went through a big uh, a big kind of change with the just the name and adding Harper as a bass player, and kind of where we're playing. So it was almost it. It was almost a rebranding in a way. We kept the same type of songs and stuff like that, but the the name kind of just came from. I think our music sounds very harsh sometimes, and it has some uh, some some harsh lyrics, some depressed lyrics sometimes. But there's also a, a poppy side and like a, sure. a an almost an almost sweet side to it. Yeah, I mean the name didn't really. It doesn't. I won't say it has that like some sort of like significant meaning to us yeah. because it's sort of like we needed a new band name because I mean the Hounds was copyright claimed. Sure. <laughs> so yeah. we were like sure. okay. probably like 16 or 17 times. Yeah. Yeah, we were like okay, that sucks. We need a new name. <laughs> so I mean Finch and I would just write down a bunch of band names. You should have just spelled it differently them. like H O W N D. We thought about we it. We literally my dad told me that probably 80 <laughs> times. <laughs> and we were considering it, but we would, we started writing down different band names and stuff and actually I think the thing that really uh settled it for us was the fact that we were like we really like mean sweetie and then i pitched it to my uncle one time who does he got us in at uh oscar blues which was a brewery that we played at that was okay. a great show um yeah it was a fun show it was a beer keg ex- beer keg exploded all Behind over us. the gear Whoa. yeah it was very fun <laughs> it just just blew, just blew yeah up. literally like a, just a giant waterfall of beer shot out and it actually hit sent this a girl. girl flying. Yeah, it sent yeah, a girl, sent flying. A girl flying across. She was the room. fine. She was, she ended up being fine, but like she flew across like, the room. My beer. I mean, my base case was soaked with beer. Yeah, yeah. not your base that, case. You you can't buy beer. No comment. <laughs> yeah, my my uh, my drum rug smelled completely like beer. That drive home. Ooh. You know there was glad you didn't get pulled over. Huh? There's people. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there's people diving on the floor trying to lap it up. <laughs> I I hope not. I'm just. Joking. I hope you're making that. <laughs> no, it went everywhere. Though. It's a real problem. <laughs> but <laughs> anyways, my uncle Spencer he books a bunch of bands there and kind of kind of like here and there throughout Asheville. Um, he also works at a radio station. But I told him about the band name and he looks at a lot of band names and I think he can definitely tell the difference between a shitty one and a good one. And he was like, <laughs> sure. He was, he was like, man, that's a really good name. I love it. So kind of settled it for us. Kind yeah. of settled it. Yeah, it's really good. It just rolls off the tongue. Mean yeah. sweetie. It's really nice. Yeah. Love it. It's just mean sweetie. <laughs> <laughs> you got the radio voice going on. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, well, hey, why don't we hear some more music? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> this one's called Filth the Youth. Make kisses will show 
This one's called Rod Away. Chapman Harper, thank you so much for uh, having me out to having me out to the house and have and being on the show. Um, had a really good time recording you and, and, and of course, man. Thank you guys. We had a um, blast. Yeah, I, I'm glad you did, man. I'm, I'm always I'm always glad when people enjoy their time on the show. Um, where can people find you online? We're on Spotify. We are we're basically on all platforms music wise. We got an Instagram, and uh, that's about it. You can also find us in your dreams. We'll be in there. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have like any, anything coming out anytime soon? You have a oh yeah, we got some. Uh, we got an album in the works. Something yeah, like that. Can't, uh, and can't it, say too much. You have a tentative title for it or a working title for it? 
Um, I think we're going to call we're, it Rod Away. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And you played that song tonight. Oh, so yeah. We did. That cool. Title track. Hell, yeah. What's your username on, like, Instagram? Like uh, yeah. The Instagram is means... Uh, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> 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 the Instagram is uh, mean underscore sweetie underscore band. Well, this, this show is available on Apple Podcasts. Uh, Spotify and pretty much most places you can find podcasts uh, and of course the full video episodes are on YouTube and uh, at this time I, I don't know if we're still going to be airing on Twitch as we're recording this we're recording this in advance so I uh, don't know if I'm going to be doing the debuts on Twitch might still be if you're seeing it on Twitch you found out there you go <laughs> easiest way to subscribe to everything find everything is go to staticaddictpod.com and uh, you can find links to everything there you can also find links to our Patreon if you would like to support the show and help us make it bigger and better, upgrade some equipment like the stuff you're seeing behind me. Um, you can go to patreon.com slash static attic pod. And uh, it's a way easy way to just toss a little bit of extra cash if you've got it. Um, oh, and of course, if you if you uh, if you want to listen to some more great independent artists, more than just what's on the show, tune into our radio station. It's uh, it's on the Zeno radio app. It's just static attic. It's easy to find. Do it. Static Attic is king. Please check it out. Do it's it. so cool. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, man. Uh, and if you want to submit songs to that, staticatticpod at gmail.com. Send me your MP3s, send me track names, all that kind of stuff, and let me know who you are. Until next time, thanks for tuning in to Static Attic. <laughs>